Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to plant up this window box that's located right outside our kitchen window. And um, before I went, go over what we're gonna plant in here, I wanna talk about how I did this because a couple of um, seasons ago, I had some questions on how I adhered this to the wall. And it's pretty simple. First of all, this is just a basic um, window box that you can find at Lowe's or any other home improvement store. And I ran the drip system in here as well. But um, I didn't want to adhere it directly to the window seal to damage the window seal. So what I did was I had this two by four piece here that's probably about two feet long. And I drilled that into the wall um, using some really sturdy plaster um, screws that's made for concrete. And so I drilled a hole through the two by four first um, and into the wall on both sides. And then I just took those really sturdy screws and screw them into the holes that I had drilled. And it's very, very sturdy. I mean, it's not going anywhere. And plus I didn't damage the window seal. And if I ever want to remove this, it would just be a matter of sealing those with some um, stucco and painting over it and you wouldn't even know that it's there. Plus I didn't want the drip irrigation to be right on the side of the house. I wanted it to be out just a little bit. It's probably out about two inches away from the wall so it just drips down perfectly and it's not dripping down the wall which is kind of nice. The cocoa liners that I use for these I have probably about three extra but the one that was in here um, I'm not going to have to use one of my extras. I can use that again and get another season out of it. So before I plant this up with the plants that I think you're going to really like, I'm going to take advantage of this time and really spray down the window and um, power wash the screen and this whole area to get it free of any debris or anything that might be sitting in this that's from the seasons prior to make sure that it has a nice clean start. So let's go ahead and do that first and then I'll show you what I got planned. Here we go. Now that the window is clean, I'm just going to lift up this drip irrigation line that I'm going to use again because it's great. It's not clogged. I just tested it and it's going to be just fine. So in order to keep this out of my way here, I'm just going to put it up like that. And then this is the old, the one that I used before. It doesn't have any thin spots in it. It's just perfect. So I'm going to use this again. I'm going to set this down in here like so. And it should go right back into place. Perfect. We're going to add the soil. Here we go. All right, so I should probably move this verbena, but it's kind of heavy with water. So I'm just going to explain what I have going on. So I have this container here that I filled with a little bit of dirt. And this container is from the Dollar Tree. And this is going to be much easier than holding up the giant bag of potting soil and trying to dump it in here. So this is going to allow me to do that easily without it being too heavy. But before I put this in here, I want to fortify the soil a little bit with some slow release fertilizer from Proven Winners. Always using that in all of my containers. And then I do want to add some biotone from Espoma, which is an organic starter fertilizer, which is great. It gets that microbiome going in the root system, in the soil. Make sure that it's mixed in thoroughly. Boy, does that make that easier. I remember last time I did this, I uh, tried to lift a bag up in here and pour it in and I was on a stepping stool and I know this is kind of awkward right now but I'm actually standing on a stone here in the planner and this works out better because I am not struggling at all to do that it makes it way easier all right I'm super excited to show you this if you saw my short a couple weeks ago I found these annuals at Lowe's on clearance I mean they were such a good deal and they were such good quality. The first one I'm going to plant is this beautiful Supertunia Limoncello. And I mean, look at this, guys. This is so beautiful, super healthy. 
absolutely one of my favorites. I always say that, but it it is. That color is really nice. And then this is going to be great too, this Diamond Frost Euphorbia. I'm going to set that right in the middle. And then finally, the Ever Classic Super Tunia Bordeaux. And that is going to be really pretty too. The beautiful light yellow with the lavender and then the diamond frost in the middle. I think it's going to be great. Now this is an interesting spot because this part of the house in the summertime gets pretty much sun all the way until right around one o'clock. So if it's not overcast, then these plants will get sun for six hours and they'll be really happy. But as the season progresses and we go into fall, then this area gets less and less sun. So I'm sure that these are going to be great just for one season. And that's what most of these annuals are for, especially in areas that freeze. I know that we get one season out of them, but I think it's going to be just fine. I had Super Bell's yellow in here, if you remember. They were so beautiful and did really, really well. And I think if those do great, they have the same light requirements, then these will probably do well, I'm sure. All right, so let's get these planted. Now, to fill in, I'm just going to take my scoop shovel. You can find these pretty much everywhere. I think my family got this for me at uh, Walmart a couple years ago. And then I'm just going to fill in around those root balls. Boy, does it make it easy to do that. Just kind of falls where you need it to go. And if this window were a little bit lower, then it would be so much easier. But still, it's very doable this way. All right, now I'm just going to feel around the root balls and make sure I press that dirt down, not covering the top, so as not to choke out the annuals. I've noticed that I've choked out a couple of annuals before by putting the dirt too high or the soil too high around because I get in a hurry and want to get it in the ground soon, and then I end up choking it out. So. I want to make sure I don't do that this time. So that's it, everybody. Our refresh of this whole area is done. We started with cleaning our windows and clearing the area out of all old debris from the plants that were in here previously. And then we came in and put the coca liner back in here, keeping our drip irrigation system, which is super important to sustain these plants through the summer. We added the soil that we had amended with the slow release fertilizer and the biotone fertilizer and then we added our plants filled in the soil watered them in and look at guys i think these super tunias and this euphorbia are going to be absolutely perfect right here and the best part to me is these super tunias will spill over the side while the euphorbia gives us that nice contrast right in the middle and it was relatively simple to achieve what we did today so thank you guys for joining us today and if you're new here welcome we'll see you all again next time bye bye everybody